All righty, what's up, what's up everybody? Jonathan here with Boston Collectors. In today's video, I swear I was just talking about this figure yesterday, not only with my fiance, but also in the Star Wars memorabilia Discord. So it's great to see that, you know, something like this came into fruition before I was actually ready. Now, the cool thing about this figure for me personally is that I absolutely love it. I think this is gonna end up being sculpted plastic though around the uh, the head wraps. Uh, I mean, I guess it's okay because you know, I could see that unraveling over time, especially uh, for those of you who have the Force Awakened Kylo Ren, you know, before they started updating the sleeves and everything like that, that sleeve, you know, the one where you have to unzip it to swap out the arms and all of that good stuff, that sleeve, for those of you who know, it's all bunched up and ugly. And even if you don't have it, you're familiar with it because of the Force Awakens Ray. No, I'm sorry, the Last Jedi Ray, and how her wrap sort of unravel. So I'm not, I'm not upset at this. I'm actually okay with that. Before we actually start diving into these pictures, I was absolutely like, I, I wanted this figure. I did. I wanted a couple. I personally like three. Boom, right here. Uh, but we also see that price tag too at $250 through Sideshow, not uh, counting tax and shipping, but that's a lot of money for three of these guys. Now, the only issue with it for me personally is that I actually ran out of space. My current pre orders, that's pretty much all I'm able to have right now in the space that I happen to have. So, unless any of you have any uh, house expansion ideas, we're going to go ahead and dive into these really dope figures. So right away, you know, the uh, the bloggers, they do their thing. Uh, we're familiar with uh, with a lot of them at this point. Kinder Kinder Toys. Uh, looking at the uh, at the rifle here, I noticed that this looks like it might be pleather, but it looks like a rugged pleather, right? I really do love I think the reason for the price tag, honestly, is because if you pay attention to the details here, this doesn't look like plastic. Like you've got pleather, right? On pleather, on top of pleather with more pleather. Like not only that, you also have the, uh, it looks like on the hands, I'm noticing uh, at the ball joints, that looks like cloth is on that too. So I feel like a lot of work actually went into creating the Tuscan Raiders for them to, you know, look authentic. But it looks like, um, unless that's just sculpted as well. That almost looked like, uh, it's gotta be sculpted. I doubt that that's a spring that can actually move about, but really, really cool looking uh, garments here. I love that, uh, the look there. I wonder if that's gonna be die cast or not. I feel like that will probably end up being plastic, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Again, really cool. I like the, uh, the cloth around the hands as well. That looks really nice. So good. Uh, we remember that scene, right? <laughs> yeah, see, the reason that I wanted them personally was because of uh, the history with Anakin. And, you know, for those of you who didn't watch Star Wars, I won't spoil it because, you know, I recently came into the fandom maybe, what, two years ago? What's going on there? Uh, I'm just going to say this was a weird angle and maybe this is on like a strap around the body maybe. I feel like it should have been underneath it. It's kind of, uh, unless it's magnetic, images like this for me kind of throw me off from what the intent might be for pieces. But I feel like this belt is actually on a strap. So it could just be me. The, um, the stitching, interesting. Interesting, it just kind of curved there and just halt. But then like the stitching there is perfect. But again, these are very, very, very tiny things. Nobody's paying attention to that. It's just as a photographer, I'm zooming in hella close. Okay, so I was actually right the first time. It's on a belt. It's actually on a belt. It was just a bad angle. Uh, unless, of course, again, it, but I like this though. Before I finish that, I love this. Look at that, that belt, extra detail. Oh, so good. So what I was gonna say was, unless of course this is like magnetized on it so that maybe uh, if you wanna take off the fat suit or something, but Hot Toys don't really design their figures keeping in mind people who wanna take that off. So I don't know, I would just like to see, you know, like will the figure come packaged with this on or do you have to pop off the head sculpt and take off the robes in order to put these on because maybe you want 
one Tuscan Raider with the uh, with the ammo pouches and the other with the bandolier and you know so on. Maybe one with both. I don't know. I've not seen uh, Sideshow's unboxing. I think they did one too. So, oh wait, oh my God, look, see, I've not seen these pictures yet. So <laughs> that literally was a fluke. That's cool. So they have to come separate, right? I'd imagine, yeah, you have to pop this off. Similar to the Luke Deluxe, right? Uh, I think that was the Force Awakens Luke, where he came with all of that really cool stuff. Really cool to see right here. <laughs> we got the Binox. Grogu Beskar Mando looking nice, nice. I like the attention to detail with the sand drop in there. Look at those boots. I mean, they're not like the... Um, the shore troopers but wow got the pouch there on the uh on the strap like that yeah i really wish i could have these guys but it's unfortunate that i ran out of space oh wow if you can get them in this pose you have to have something underneath them though to prop them up right i'd imagine something's about here this is sick i love that well, I mean, I guess it's safe to say they're double jointed, right? It's safe to say. I hate to assume, but. <laughs> wow. I really wish I could have these guys. But three is like, that's a lot of money. It's already 500 with two, but the only reason I say three is because like I wouldn't put anything else on the shelf with them. And to fill it out better, three would be it for me, but. I don't know. I guess the better question is like, uh, what would you all be doing if you picked up the Tuscan Raiders? Is it, are you thinking about uh, picking up one, maybe a couple of them, maybe three? Like, what's your max here? Like, you can kind of army build with these guys. I personally feel like you can army build with them, but I personally wouldn't go over more than three. Wow, I love this, man. It's so good. See, I'm wondering, like, when you go from image to image, which is the actual, like, I understand lighting play a key factor in some things, but it's also the color grading as well. Because me, I like this grungier, darker look, but I feel like they're going to end up being uh, sort of cleaner, in my opinion. It's like these guys live in the desert, right? They're around sand all the time. I feel like it being dirtier like this and even more tattered than that would make a bit more sense, in my opinion. Like, this is way too clean. Like, they just converted to the Tuscan Raider lifestyle, like, a couple minutes ago. Unlike the raggedy, sort of jagged edges and things like that. But, I don't know. Again, let me know what you all think in the comments section. Am I just, uh, am I expecting too much? Is it, does it make sense? Does it not make sense? What would you like to see? I love poses like this. Oh, see, they got, oh, yep, yep. I've got to be right. I have to be right. He's using two ammo pouches on this chest. So I wonder what he's got over there. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I love customization options like that. Really dope. Now I have to, uh, I have to go and check out Sideshow's unboxing after this. <laughs> that is really cool. I also think he, uh, they come with a decent amount of accessories as well. They, uh, they didn't really skimp on the accessories for this figure. Nice shot as well. That's a good one too. <laughs> I am not about to do the Tuscan Raider call, but I like that. Well, I mean, it's not really like we're gonna see uh, anything else too too different here. I love that as well. But uh, I would like to know what you all think of the Tuscan Raiders. If you're gonna pick them up, let me know down below. If you like the content for today, definitely don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. It helps us out with growth and all that good stuff. This is Jonathan with Boston Collectors, and I'll catch you all on the flippity flop.